Hey everybody, time for a new two minute series. Uh, I'm gonna go on shooting. Uh, I'm actually in, in the process of writing a book uh, on shooting that is probably not what you think. It's not a technical manual, though I'll focus on a couple things, but it's really just on the heart and the guts and the soul of shooting. And uh, for years I've struggled, frankly, to probably talk about shooting as much as I should because my process of becoming a great shooter was not um, pleasurable. Uh, I put myself through a lot of suffering as a young player and, and uh, throughout my career to learn how to, frankly, just become great at it. Um, and I don't think I became as good as I could have been, and I think I often got in my own way. So my goal uh, over this series and, and just various resources I'm looking to produce here in the, the months and the years ahead is to help players become better shooters and to understand the process of shooting, uh, which I don't think has to be as difficult as we make often make it to be uh, from a physical standpoint, but sometimes it's difficult from a mental and emotional standpoint because of the challenges it gives you and because of, frankly, some of the weaknesses we all bring to the table. Uh, but my goal in this series will kind of, uh, not just to, to give you the basics, but to give you uh, kind of an underneath, behind the scenes, in the skin look of a shooter, the soul of a shooter. Um, because in my experience, uh, the thing that separates guys who are just good shooters from guys who are the shooters, the hand, don't ever put your hand down on me kind of shooters, is the inside stuff. It's the internal stuff. It's the ability to handle risk. It's the ability to know and kind of stick with who you are and to embrace failure and to spread swagger and to uh, win the inner inner conversation. These are the kind of things that make great shooters. So, um, I look forward to the days and weeks ahead. I plan on posting about three a week and who knows how long it'll take us because I always have more to say than I think. See you soon.